Today we're going to slip into our waders so that we can power through the bog of mediocrity that is Amazon's pre-built selection. We're going to have a good giggle to ourselves. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick disclaimer here. The point of this video is not laughing at people buying pre-builds. I get that some people don't want to build their own PCs and the pre-built gaming market is a very important part of the gaming forest ecosystem. But there are a lot of pre-built companies that take their consumers for a ride. So today we're going to point and laugh at them. <laughs> so what I want you to do is let me know in the comment section down below which of the options we're looking at today you think is the best option. Now again, we're not going to have any hands-on experience with any of these systems. They may still be terrible, but we'll have a look at user reviews and stuff as well. Now we're going to go pretty straightforward. I'm just going to Google gaming PC and then see what we get. Now the first one that comes up is a $1,000 iBuy Power PC with an i7-9700F in it and a GTX 1660 Ti. For a $1,000 pre-built, that's not the worst specification I've ever seen. 16 gigs of RAM and a 240 gig SSD, that's, that's not terrible. But there's always a catch with these pre-builds, right? They may seem on the surface like, oh, this seems like pretty good value for money, and then they just catch you off guard with the motherboard equivalent of rabies and like terrible cooling. So let's see what the catch is on this system. Okay, now straight off the bat, what's worrying is that they don't tell you what motherboard it uses or what power supply they use. And that's always where they get you. Um, it's got 16 gigs of DDR4-2666, which is not amazingly fast, but it's an Intel system. So it's not as important as an AMD system. Uh, let's have a look at the picture here. Yes, see, that's not great. If this is what the ideal example of one of these pre-builds look like, considering that they're using it to advertise the pre-build, that's not a great sign. That cooler just looks like a glorified Intel stock cooler, considering the fact that the 9700F is a really hot running CPU, that doesn't seem like it's going to be able to handle it very well. And that motherboard looks pretty rubbish as well. It doesn't look like it's a Z390 motherboard, which means you're not going to be able to overclock your i7. But, I mean, the cooler wasn't going to let that happen anyway, so that's a bit irrelevant. But let's see if they say what motherboard that is. Oh, okay, so here, it's a B365M. Just a random B365M. I don't know what motherboard specifically that is, but that's not the best pairing for an 8-core i7. But let's have a look at what the customer reviews have to say. So the first one is, first one came in pieces. That's not great. Uh, they say here, only one thumb screw holding each side on the tower. Only one of the three front lights lit up. I guess he means the front fans. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So only one of the fans lit up in the front. Uh, the ram sticks were lying in the bottom and had to be reseated. A couple of power connectors were loose and had to be reseated. After fixing all of this, the second time the computer was powered up, it shut off by itself and would not power back up. Other than that, it was a terrific buy. What? So they didn't fully assemble the PC and after you built it, it didn't work. But other than that, it was, it was pretty good. What kind of standards do you have, B. Richards? <laughs> Updated on December 2019, the replacement computer has been a good PC so far. Okay, so at least they replaced the PC for him, but the, it wasn't working. It was a broken product and it... Okay, whatever. B. Richards, you're a bit confused. But the next one is disappointed, but it could be worse. Okay, so let's see what they have to say. First off, the packaging from Amazon was a joke. So oversized box with a piece of paper on the top. I mean, to be fair, that's Amazon's party trick. Uh, they said, second, there was supposed to be padding on the inside of the computer itself in order to hold all the components together. It's really bad that that's not there. For shipping, you really want that kind of like uh, packaging material in there. That's very important. Uh, next off, they said that uh, the back part of the motherboard was bent inside. Luckily, I was able to bend it back. What? The cable management was non-existent. All of it was just shoved behind the outer side of the case. I mean, how could it have been worse? Like, okay, so clearly the Amazon reviews have some mixed messages there, but uh, let's move on to a different system. I'm on board of that one now. 
Let's see what else you can get for $1,000. Uh, here's a cyber power system with a 9400F in it and a 1660 with 8 gigs of RAM for $926. That's like a lot less PC for not much less money. Um, although, to be fair, with this one, you run the risk of it coming just essentially a bunch of pieces thrown into a case. So I don't know, maybe, maybe the cyber power one is better? Uh, Skytech. Oh, this looks interesting. I've actually seen a bunch of them on Amazon. You can see they, they pop up quite a lot here. So this is their $1,000 one. Let's see what they have in here. Uh, a Ryzen 5 2600 for 1000 bucks is not great. I very much would have preferred a 3600 in there. But it's got a 2060 in it, which is not bad. That's been the most powerful graphics card so far in a $1,000 system. So that's good. 16 gigs of DDR4. Does it say what speed? Ah, 3000 megahertz. That's not great, but for an AMD system, it's, it's better than 2666. And it's got a 500 gig SSD in it. Uh, it says it's got a 500 watt power supply, which is 80 plus certified. It doesn't mean a huge amount, but that does help. Ooh, that's not a great looking system. Straight off the bat, that motherboard looks like it's an ASRock A320 board, which you have very little future upgradability there, and you're not going to be able to overclock it much. So that's not a great start. It's got the stock AMD cooler on it, which is not the worst, uh, but it's only got one stick of RAM. What? It's 16 gigs. Did they just use one 16 gig stick? That's that that's a that's a pretty big deal breaker for me with the with the Ryzen system. Uh, it's not great. And that Asus card that they're using there looks suspiciously like an Asus Phoenix version of the RTX 2060, which is a terrible terrible card. Uh, so I hope that you get something else. But again, this is just a picture, right? It could be a different configuration. So let's have a look at what the reviews actually say about it. Uh, so someone said here, a fine gaming experience for experienced users. Oh, it comes with sparse documentation, so that's not great. Uh, it's got a lightning fast video card in it. Oh, that's exciting. Really good bang for your buck. They seem positive about it. 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM is fast. Okay, that's good to know. The GPU is actually an MSI NVIDIA uh, 2060. Not the Asus one showed in the picture. Yeah, the, Ace, the MSI one's actually better. So that's that's definitely, that's great that you're not getting the Phoenix version uh, because that's that's not, that card is a pretty terrible cooler on it. Oh, this looks like a good, a good comment. They actually give all of the components in here. So it is an ASRock A320M motherboard with the MSI 2060. So that's a second person with a 2060 in there that's not the Asus version. So that's great. And they say here that it's two by eight gig. So hopefully all of the configurations come like that because that's way better. Uh, yeah, so this is a very, very useful comment. Highlights, build quality is superb with great cable management. Includes additional zip ties. Oh, that's always nice. Uh, fans are quiet. If you dig the RGB effect, uh, you'll like them. 16 gigs of RAM. Minimal bloatware. That's really nice to hear. Tech support was responsive when I discovered the RAM wasn't clocking as advertised. They directed me to the BIOS and told me how to fix it. That's very, very good. Um, okay, so not the worst reviews on this Sky SkyTech PC, depending on, on who you want to believe there. Let's see what other systems we, we, we have here. Oh, here's a $900 system with a 3600 in it and a GTX 1660. So that's going to be that's going to be a slower system, but you get a better CPU. And what looks like a better motherboard. That looks like a B450 board. Let's see what it says here. If it actually mentions that. Uh, yes, B450. Okay, so that looks like an ASRock B450M there. Which is a better motherboard, a better CPU, with a slower graphics card in it for 100 bucks less. Oh, let me know in the comment section below which one you'd go with. Uh, between this one and the $1,000 Sky system. What was it called? The 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 shiva let me know what you think about that uh let's look at some other price points we've we've covered a thousand dollars very effectively there but let's see what else we can we can find here oh here's a strix system for a thousand one hundred dollars with a 3700x in it that's pretty cool okay it's got a 1660 ti in it which for a thousand one hundred dollars isn't great but 16 gigs of ram a 512 gig ssd that looks like an interesting system. I wonder what motherboard and stuff it has in it. Are we going to be able to see? Oh, that looks like a very basic Asus motherboard. But it does look like it's got a decent cooler on it. 
Let's have a look down here. Let's see what the comments have to say about it. Because a 3700X, if you're into streaming on a budget, this is potentially a really good option. What RAM? Oh, it's got DDR4 2666 in it though. Oh. Yeah, that RAM is, is not ideal. Oh, they actually have a bunch of photos for us here. So there's a Wi-Fi card going. And then, I mean, can you show us more inside? Oh, there's like a bracket for the graphics card. That's interesting. Oh, there they show you the actual SSD that it comes with. Oh, it's it's it, it looks like it's a 660p, which is like an Intel NVMe drive. That's that's reasonably fast. That's not bad. Ooh, look at that motherboard and that cooler. The 3700X, which is a very hot running CPU, is not going to have a great time in this system, especially considering the fact that the front airflow. I mean, okay, let, let's see if we can get a better look at the front airflow. Um. Oh, there's, there's some front airflow, it looks like it. Ah, oh, it looks pretty limited, but I, yeah, that's, that's going to be a big limitation. This system's going to run very hot. This is a very good example of the pre-built system problem, where the specs on paper for the price seem like it's okay, and then there's a bunch of weird deal breakers like terrible cooling. Just put a decent cooler on the CPU. I mean, how, how hard can that really be? Your Ace is making it, right? You could use a decent motherboard as well. Let's see what else though. Okay, so here seems to be the SkyTech bread and butter system. This is three thousand uh, dollars for a Ryzen 9 3900 X. Yo, that's so much money. A 2080 Ti. I mean, it's it's a high end system, right? It's got 32 gigs of DDR4, 3600 megahertz in it. Like this thing is a complete beast, and it looks pretty well made. I would actually be curious to do a video on one of these like high-end pre-built systems just to see how it compares to like a custom-built system. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot more, but let's see what the reviews have to say. Uh, I would not buy SkyTech again. So I thought it had good specs for the price and looked good. I saw the reviews were mixed, but I thought I'd take a gamble. Bad decision. Product was late, no apology, no concern. Product arrived with dampness inside the case. What the hell? Product delivered with Windows Home uh, when the description said Pro. No, the description did say Home. Uh, I still don't have a Windows Pro license a month later. Customer response is really slow. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry to be with Skytech on this one, but it does say Windows 10 Home here. Although the dampness in the case, that's super dodgy. Let's see what William Kiwi has to say. Uh, so inspect the components for accuracy. So firstly, the computer arrived two weeks late. So that's the second person saying it arrived late. No apologies. Is that the same person? No. Uh, I started up the computer and checked the BIOS system information. I noticed that a slower and less expensive RAM was installed. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so here's someone with actual pictures. This thing is a monster and I like it. Let's see what it looks like. Inside. Um... Okay, so first off, that is a blower design 2080 ti that is not ideal that's going to be a hot running card for three thousand dollars getting like an entry level 2080 ti is not great oh wow that's that's a pretty crazy looking gaming setup it looks like they live in in las vegas there but let's see what is the picture picture show the picture shows a slightly better looking card Oh, uh, yeah. See, for $3,000, you want, like, an MSI Lightning 2080 Ti. Not, not, not that blower-style mess of a car. That kind of sucks. So with that, it brings me to the end of another video looking at pre-built systems on Amazon. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below which ones of these you think is an actual decent option that somebody may actually, uh buy, you know, and not be super disappointed by it. And with that, until the next video, bye-bye.